Hi, I'm Mike with Joyfully Growing Blog. In this video, we're gonna talk all about butcher block countertops and help you decide if butcher block countertops are right for your next kitchen remodel. Butcher block countertops can be a great addition to any kitchen remodel. They look really good and they bring that touch of natural beauty. We'll talk about how much they cost how durable they are, how hard they are to install, and the best places to buy them. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's talk about some of the pros and the cons to butcher block countertops. So butcher block countertops are a little bit unique in that they're pretty easy to install yourself. That makes them a really budget friendly option. They can be installed for not a lot of money. In the con category, Butcher block tends to be a little bit less durable than most other types of countertops. So it's going to have worse scratch resistance, worse impact and dent resistance, just because it's a softer material than stone options like granite and quartz. This is definitely a little bit of a downside, but it's not really a deal breaker. They're still really pretty durable. The durability of butcher block countertops is gonna depend on what kind of wood you use. So pretty much all butcher blocks are gonna be made out of some sort of hardwood, so they're gonna be pretty tough. But some types of hardwoods are harder than others. So for instance, birch and maple are two really common types of butcher block countertops, and maple is quite a bit harder than birch. So that will have better scratch and denting and impact resistance than birch but it also comes with a little bit higher price tag. How much do butcher block countertops cost? Butcher block countertops usually cost between $16 and $32 per square foot, depending on which type of wood that you opt for. An average size kitchen is usually gonna have around 30 square feet of countertop area. Using round numbers, that's gonna mean that the pieces of butcher block that you'll need to buy will usually cost somewhere between $500 and $1,000. One of the really good things about butcher block countertops is that because they're such a budget friendly option, even if you opt for one of the higher end types of butcher block like maple, it's still going to be drastically cheaper than granite or quartz countertops. With other types of countertops, most of the time you'll be hiring a professional to do it, so naturally it's going to cost more. But Laminate countertops, on average, to have them professionally installed, it's going to cost somewhere around $1,000 in an average size kitchen. And moving up the scale towards the more expensive options, solid surface countertops are usually gonna cost somewhere around $2,000, and then quartz and granite are going to be somewhere around $3,000. Butcher block countertops can really save you a ton of money, especially if you're willing to do the labor yourself. How hard are butcher block countertops to install yourself? This might surprise you a little bit, but they're actually pretty easy. The good news is that butcher block is just made out of normal wood. So the only power tools that you'll need is a skill saw, a sander, and a drill, and that's about it. The only part that can be a little bit tricky is when you're doing corners in the countertop. When you're working with butcher block countertops, they're pretty big and heavy pieces of wood. So it definitely makes it a lot easier if you have an extra hand or two to help you move these big heavy chunks of butcher block around. A lot of people really like the look of butcher block countertops, but they might be nervous about how durable they are or how susceptible they are to water damage, especially when installed next to a sink. So we've had butcher block countertops for many years now, and I can tell you that they actually hold up really, really well. And one of the biggest factors in this is how they're sealed. It makes a really big difference, especially with their waterproofing. I like to use what's called spar urethane. Spar urethane does a great job of sealing the wood, making it extremely waterproof, and it's a finish that should last you several years. Let's talk about how to maintain butcher block countertops. The maintenance of butcher block countertops really depends on how well the butcher block was sealed in the first place and how good of condition that sealant is still in. As long as the sealant is still in good condition, the butcher block countertops will remain very waterproof. And as far as maintenance goes, nothing really needs to be done until that seal kind of wears off and then they need to be refinished. In a worst case scenario, if you use kind of a low quality sealant to start out with and it doesn't hold up well, 
you might have to reseal your butcher block countertops after only one or two years or potentially even shorter. In a best case scenario, if you use a really high quality, super durable uh, sealant, the finish could hold up extremely well for many, many years. And during this time, you'll need to do zero maintenance other than cleaning. If you finish your countertops with spar urethane, that finish is going to be really durable and it's gonna be perfectly capable of holding up to soap or any natural type cleaners. If you're wanting to use bleach or other harsh chemicals, then polyurethane is actually going to be a better choice for you because that holds up better to harsh chemicals. Can you cut directly on butcher block countertops? The answer to this question is a little bit tricky because you definitely could cut on sealed butcher block countertops, but they're really not gonna hold up well and you're going to wear them out really quickly and see your knife cut lines really prominently. If you're wanting to use your countertops as a cutting board, then you actually have to take a different approach to sealing them. So you won't use a permanent type of sealant like spar urethane or polyurethane. You'll need to use a food grade cutting board oil, which is made out of mineral oil. The downside to doing this is that cutting board oil does not seal the wood nearly as good as a urethane type product, and it doesn't last for nearly as long either. So if you go with this route you will need to reapply cutting board oil pretty frequently like once every few months or at least once a year at the very minimum. Also this is really not a good idea for countertops that are directly next to the sink. Over time, your butcher block will show some signs of wear. It'll end up with some scuffs and scratches. And this might sound a little bit silly, but I kind of like it once the countertops get a few scratches and scuffs on them, because then you're not trying to baby them all the time and you just use them and they still look good. Plus another great benefit of having wooden countertops is that if you need to, you can always sand them down and refinish them and get yourself back to a good as new look. Where is the best place to buy butcher block countertops? You really have a ton of options here. Almost any lumber store is going to have at least some selection of butcher block countertops. Home improvement centers like Lowe's or Home Depot are always going to stock at least a few different types. But the thing is, what you'll find on the shelves of most stores is what is in stock is only a very limited selection of basic types of butcher blocks. So if you want anything a little bit different, then you'll probably have to order it online. My recommendation is ordering online with the Home Depot. I'll go ahead and link a few of my favorite types of butcher block countertops in the description box below. To learn even more about butcher block countertops, check out the article over on our website. It goes into a lot more detail about all of the different types of butcher block. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to follow along with all of our latest videos.